it's still hard to believe that he's gone. And uh, every basketball fan copes with that in a different way. And those of us that are collectors, we collect. So actually, uh, right after he passed, I went on eBay and I'm like, you know what, I have to get me a Topps rookie. And I bought this for $40. And I kind of conceded at the time. I said, you know what, I know this is an overpay, but I'm going to pay it anyway because that's just kind of how I was coping with the event because these were these are super plentiful and they they were ten dollar cards you know pretty much up until that time um and i don't know you know i i said i had conceded the fact that it was an overpay but i i think they've settled higher than that now but still they they've received a little bit of a bump um i'm happy that i have this though and and uh, like i said that's kind of how i uh remembered that moment and kind of honored his career in my own weird little way um I also have this card here, which a lot of people shy away from these, and it's got a crack in the slab. Uh, you'll find this is a common theme with some of my Kobe stuff. I had this at a show. I got it for like $5. I had it at a show for 15 Nobody would touch it. It's got a really nice multicolor patch in it. It's just not part of the card, but it was still uh, a program that Beckett was affiliated with. So um, same thing with this relic card here. I got it for $11 off Com C. They didn't describe the damage that's here on the left side. I had it at a show forever for 15 uh, and nobody picked it up. And well, now I'm glad that they didn't because this, this is going nowhere. This is a um, pretty cool card here, a giant piece of a basketball that he played with. Um, another card that I've got here before I get to the rest of the relics, this was an MVP promotion. This is another one I've talked about on my show. Um, these were Numbered to 100, although a lot of them got thrown away because they looked like little sweepstakes cards. Um, I found this in a dollar box. It was bricked between tons of 1999 uh, orange tops base. So um, sometimes it does pay to actually sit there and, and pull all the cards apart. And that's what I did in this case. And I got a real nice one out of there. Okay, um, this one is a game dated shoe that I've shown on the channel. You know, I could talk and, and kind of recap all that, but that video is out there. So I'll let you watch that if you want to. But uh, I got to be careful because I don't have the front of the case on this, but there's the shoes pictured right there, and it tells you that they were wore on March 25th, 2012. And then finally, I've got this patch numbered 10 out of 10. Um, another purchase that I got after he passed away, and surprisingly cheap. I don't know. I don't. I honestly don't know. I don't know if people were scared of the patch, um, but if you look at the other cards from that print run of 10 there are other pieces of the larry o'brien trophy so that these look like they're from nba finals warm-ups because um, you can see the stitching that's where the purple stripes from the warm-ups were the purple stripe patch pieces there's part of that larry o'brien trophy i got that super cheap i still can't believe it i mean i would have bid higher but um so that's a big part of my nba finals collection